All right, we're going to be working with colloids today, and uh, I've been heating my water uh, some already, but I'm going to continue to heat it now. Um, and uh, right, we're going to be working with uh, two different brews, and we're going to see the difference between them, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to brew with the Clever Dripper, and I've got my Clever Dripper right here, and I've got my metal filter, which uh, I don't know. You may see that. There's holes in the bottom of this. Let's see. Uh, I can't exactly zoom in on them. There you go. Maybe you can see the holes. They're actually pretty big holes compared to what we're going to see in the holes in the paper filters. And metal filters will not absorb the oils like the paper filters will. My water's heated up, um, but I might have to heat it again because I still have to weigh out my coffee. And in this experiment, I'm going to weigh out, and don't worry, you don't have to do this experiment. This is a video, watch the videos and uh, take data from what I'm doing. Let's see. So um, I'm gonna need some coffee beans and I'm going to use uh, 20, let's see, here's my brew parameters approximately. I've got, I'm gonna shoot for 300 grams of water, 20 grams of grounds, Brew ratio of 15. My favorite water temperature, which is as hot as my little um, electric kettle will make it, 94 degrees Celsius. 10 second grind time and three minute extraction. But uh, I'm going to do 40 grams of the grounds, at least weigh out that much, and grind them all together. So, tear that. And put in a 40 grams. Forty-four that'll be fine. Uh, yeah. And then grind them up for 10 seconds. Hmm. Ah. There's a place I can use. I want to grind them all the same just so we know that uh, even more so that the grind is not different between these two. There's no effects of the grind. Yep, let me reset that. Ten seconds. Exactly. Knock all those grounds out and you can see what my grind looks like. And I must have knocked it pretty nicely because there's actually nothing left in the grinder itself. So that's good. I've got my coffee grounds. And now I'm going to weigh my clean, dry, clever dripper with no base fight and start collecting my data like I love to do. Clever Dripper, 252.7 grams. Please go ahead and write that down. Now let's see how much my metal filter weighs. Well, oh, let's do the coffee cup next. And I've got a coffee cup here. It says turning coffee into education, something I try and do every day. Got 317.6 grams for that. Now, Clever Dripper plus filter, 287.4.5 grams. Cross out that four, make it a five. Now my ground coffee, I only want 20 grams. So let's see how this is gonna go. Oh, I have a spoon here. So I'll do some initial pouring. 287 to 307. See, it's a little 307.5. Perfect. And it's a little coarse. 
but this will all be part of my experiments. Maybe I will want to do uh, less, more fine next time. And we'll see how much fines there are in there anyway. Uh, now it's time to add the water. Let's heat it up just a little bit more. I'll use that for my coffee grounds. I'll use this beaker in my collection of beakers over here. Oops, it's got stuff in it from before. Let's just make sure okay. my clever dripper does fit on my coffee cup. Got my temperature probe right here so I can measure my temperature. And I noticed that my battery is getting low on that. Just about 300 grams. So and we know that we don't. Doesn't matter how you pour it in. It's your clever dripper. As long as you get everything wet. And we started the timer a couple seconds late there. Oop. And I did forget to test the temperature. We'll get an approximate temperature right now. Looks like it's closer to 92 degrees. Temperature water 92 degrees Celsius. So we'll try and control for that next time too. We're going to do three minutes. Oh, good. Uh, 602.5, 602.5. So now we know how many grams of actual water we got. Looks like 295. That'll work too. I'll stop this while this coffee continues to extract. Oh, where's my cover? Cover.